New for DevExtreme are the DX Box and DX Responsive Box widgets. They allow you to lay out elements on a page and keep the ratio between the elements when changing the page size, as well as adapting the element layout to the current device. In this video, you'll learn how to configure these widgets. I've already created a simple web page and added references to the following libraries, WebAppJS, Globalize, jQuery, and Knockout. Like any widget from the DevExtreme library, the DX box widget can be added using the jQuery, Knockout, or AngularJS approach. Here, I'm using the Knockout approach and adding the DX box widget using the DX box binding. I'm going to use the DX box widget to divide the page into sections, a title, content, and footer. So I'll set the widget's direction option to COL for column. In this instance, the title, content, and footer will be arranged one under another. Let's define the widget's elements. To do this, I'll use the DX item binding. The title and footer will occupy one part of the page. The content will occupy eight parts of the page. As an example, I'll add a label to the title and footer elements. The content section can be divided into three subsections, so I'll add the DX box widget to the content section and define its three items. To lay out these three sections horizontally, I'll set the box widget's direction option to row. Since I don't add actual widgets to the page sections, I'll mark them with different colors so that you can see how the DX box widget works. All right, let's see the result. Here are the sections I defined in code. They keep the specified ratio when changing the page size. Now let's consider a scenario when your page is displayed on different devices that have a different screen size. In this case, the page layout should be adapted to the current device. I'll add the DX responsive box widget to define a page element layout for different screen sizes. The DX responsive box widget lays out its elements within a grid. I'll define the grid using the calls and rows options. To simplify this code, I'll set the single column screen option to XS. It is the size at which all elements are arranged in a column. XS, SM, MD, and LG are predefined screen factors that correspond to a phone screen, small tablet screen, large tablet screen, and a large desktop screen. You can use the screen by width widget option to define the logic according to which the current size is related to one of the screen factors. In this example, the default size determination is appropriate. I'll define the widgets elements using the DX item binding, like I did for the DX box widget elements. I'll specify the location of the items within the widgets grid. To avoid adding actual widgets to the page section, but to have the capability to see how the DX responsive box widget works, I'll highlight the sections with different colors. And that's it. Let's take a look at the result. As you can see, the layout of the page sections is adapted to the current page size due to the utilized DX responsive box widget. To learn more about the DX box and DX responsive box, refer to our corresponding documentation on our website. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.